I've been looking at the drive levels that hit the reverb board in the hopes that uh, we can hit a little harder and make better use of the existing dynamic range. And when I first started looking at the uh, gain, the uh, yeah gain channel, I was uh, initially quite encouraged. The spec on the codec is uh, two volt RMS for full scale, and that translates to about uh, zero to two point eight volts. Zero, uh, pardon me, <laughs> two point eight volts zero to peak. Um, here we're looking at the input to the board. The scope is set for one volt per vertical division and uh, hitting it hard. There's really... There's no way to really get it to go past uh, half a volt in either direction, so yippee! Seems like half a volt up to 2.8 volts could happen. However, when I checked out the clean channel, um, it was not to be. Here's the clean channel. Uh, I'm going to have to ramp up the intensity on the scope a bit so you can see it on camera. Most of the time, Most of the time, things are within roughly the range of the gain channel max as well. The clean channel is now maxed. Um, but when you do the big strum, you can see that there are some transients that, you know, go even beyond the existing threshold for uh, saturation of the of the codec. So, um, I guess maybe it seems like best case we might be able to get another 6 dB out of things before really maybe making things worse. Now again, the um, pickups I'm using in this demo are single coil Alnico's and they're not very hot. If I uh, went up and took Lester out of its case and hooked him up, um, I'm sure we'd be uh, pushing the uh, pushing things a lot closer on the clean channel to uh, overdriving the codec. So, uh, gain scaling right now not looking like a really um, great idea. More thinking.